let's talk about uh Eddie Hearn says top ESPN is done with top rank now he talking like they gonna be done with top rank in August and I went on to look uh I'm driving those shoes on right now but I went on to look the contract don't run out till August 2025 and he said they pretty much done with uh with top rank. Let's talk about it. Check out the boxing rumor playlist. I don't know. Can you call this news? Eddie Hearn saying it. I ain't sure. But uh, I mean, I mean, the contract don't run out for another two years. You know. And he's on with Bob Arum, Salty. They're not doing no good shows. They don't have any big fights and all this stuff and. They can't even sell out 4,000 paper, 4,000 seats at the T.O. Josh Taylor fight, and he ain't lying about that. T.O. sit there and talk all that shit. And he from New York, and they don't claim him. He better off fighting in Florida and shit. And yeah, there's a plenty of tickets left. I mean, they, I mean, I think I've seen tickets for like $104. Because I was contemplating on going to that. But if I, get, if I don't get a Bud ticket, I might go to that. And, um... Yeah, town, town explained, explained to me the whole ticket price with thing with Bud and whatever. Like, what Greg sent me was a projection of the resale. So, I'm willing to spend like five, maybe six, seven on the ticket. Maybe maybe more about six at the most. If I had to spend seven, it is what it is. But that's another conversation. So, yeah, he said they struggling for, for sell 4,000 tickets at Master Square Garden. Don't be surprised somebody don't fuck around and get injured and say they injured or whatever because they ain't moving no tickets around there but you know he said what big fight do they got and they, he said Haney and, and, and Loma did five, um, 150 and I heard somebody else said it did more but I didn't really catch the number so I don't man he got a point they signing all this young talent and they you know a lot of guys is but they not like them he signed the whole Olympic team or whatever and they signing all this young talent or whatever so you know, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, it did deliver, but then again, they had to split the revenue with the two fights. So, um, so I mean, that is what it is. So he going around here basically saying they done. I'm thinking like this gonna be August 2023, they done. But no, it's August 2025 is when the contract run out. Um, you know, I heard some people in the, in the chat talk about now they you know splitting up the financials and all this and ESPN, but. They got a need for programming. He's talking about how Matchroom is number one in America. They shitted on him, and PBC is barely hanging on. But, dude, y'all ain't got shit neither, dude. Y'all burning through money at the zone. And the only reason you got that popping is because they know you. And they are, you know, they a British-based company. So they know you. But they ain't number one. If you ask people, like, you know, they know Matchroom boxing. No, nobody watched the zone. The zone just trying to continue to fake it till they make it, and that's cool. But sometimes that's that's sometimes that's what you got to do. And I ain't I ain't knocking them for doing what they got to do. That's why you get these judges and shit in position. You get these judges in position, and they they give all these young guys and young people time and all that. But they ain't, they ain't never had to do something that you know they ain't never had to do shit that they ain't really want to do to get by. You know, a lot of people ain't never been in the, the real struggle. Some of them people best struggle is, you know, having to get Dunkin' Donuts coffee instead of Starbucks or some shit like that. You know what I mean? So, but he's talking about how they ain't got no big fights and how Canelo did 50,000. Well, where the pay-per-view spies at for Canelo? Ain't nobody watch that shit. Ain't nobody buy that shit in America. Why spend 70, 80 dollars on that when you could have you could have bought you a nice little Gordita out there? could have bought you a nice little bust down Tatiana little Mexican chick shit worst case scenario you could have got what you could have got the the tacos you could dip in the soup and shit you know you could have got the appetizer you could have got a bunch of margaritas could have got the pitcher and everything you could have been big balling for real but he gonna Eddie Hearn always pop the white. Or they're done, they're done. He might be right. But two years swing around, you might not be allowed to see it, dude. 
you might not be in business to see it. So, you know, when people got, when Top Rank got kicked off HBO, they had to make something happen. It was a rumor that they was going to start their own app. So, I mean, it is what it is. You, they was in talks to sell to the zone, too. People forget that. Yeah, they was in talks to, they was in talks to sell to the zone. I ain't forget that. If I can pull up the article, I'll pull it up. Them and, uh... BT Sports and BT Sports just got too rich for their blood. But top rank, if I, if I remember right from my, my, my murky recollection, I think they was gonna keep and I think they were going to keep some of the uh I think they were gonna keep some of the, the, the footage. They were gonna keep some ownership of the, of the company. And then I think they were supposed to keep a percentage of the library or some shit like that, because their library is where all the value was at and whatever, but um but I mean, but yeah, man, Eddie Hearn said, oh, they're done. You know, Eddie Hearn read up and now they done. You never know what can happen in a year or two. ESPN got the world championship tag team on there. I mean, they got, you know, power lifted. I don't know what they gonna supplement with. Maybe they add more hockey. Maybe they might pick up wrestling with Endeavor picking it up. I, I don't really know what they gonna do. The NBA media deal up, you know, NBC trying to get up in there. NBA polls be adding what two two more teams. You could have there's a rumor that Memphis gonna kick to the east, and you're gonna have Seattle getting a franchise and Las Vegas getting a franchise. NF, you know, NFL, you never know what can happen. XFL, I mean shit, you know. But they not delivering the TV rates that they, they should be delivering. But then again, you know, they gotta build up a lot of their products from the ground up, and then anytime anything become interesting. You know, especially with UFC doing numbers over there, they kicking their ass. But, you know, UFC has monopolized MMA. They really don't have a hard competition. Other competitions trying to build to beat the UFC, but they all apart. Instead of coming together, putting their bread together, putting their resources together, and putting their best ideas and kicking their worst ideas to the side, you know, they, uh, you know, at, you know, 200 years into the future, the, UFC, the MMA might be just like boxing a whole bunch of politics here and there it may not be that far into the future i hope not for the sake of their sport but you got to understand y'all don't want to work together i got to be free before i can be able to fight this guy no it sounds stupid break bread with each other people do it every day there's somebody you work with that you don't even fucking like more than likely especially if you work at a company big enough shit there's some of y'all raising people raising kids that y'all don't even fucking like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, let's let's keep it a bean. Some of y'all raising kids that y'all don't even fucking like. Let's keep let's keep it a bean. Shit, it go down like that, bro. It go down like that. Shit, it is what it is. Shit, it is what it is. That's just that's just the aspect of life, you know. But Eddie Hearn out here pocket watching and, and saying all this shit, and oh, Bob's done just because you signed, you read up to the zone. You and Oscar don't mean the zone gonna gonna stay there. They might file bankruptcy, and your ass might be back to London. It ain't even like he in, in America anyway because don't nobody watch that shit. With these nerdy ass, these 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 nerdy ass uh, boxing nigga dudes, and most of the people that sit there and really watch the zone and pay for it. They they really they really don't look like me. How about that? Most of the majority of them don't they white or you know they may be Mexican and see a couple Mexican capari. I don't know what the zone be having going on until somebody like tell me or if I read an article. I don't be remember now I look at it, I don't be fucking remembering. Johnny McKissing versus Kickback Johnson. Man, I don't be giving a fuck about that on no Saturday. The sun's shining. Shit, I'm cleaning my crib, throwing shit out. About to pick up a new hobby and shit, you know what I'm saying? About to throw some shit together, you know how it is, bruh. You know, I told y'all, this the summer where we stacking, bruh. Summer stacking, fuck all that shining, because I told y'all, it it's about to get super ugly out here in the next year, shit. Two, three, maybe, maybe shorter than that. Shit, you know. You see all these women out here, you know, selling poom poom, man, dude. It's about, man, it's about to be even worse than that. I was listening to Coach Greg Ives. He said, he said, that he, this girl, he bet 
Said she was the Valley Victoria and they selling and do and they thinking about it. I was talking to this chick and well, once you get a chick to feel comfortable with you, especially if you don't get her, if you if you really can get a chick to feel comfortable with you and start like and it's it's real easy. There ain't really no trick to it. As long as you can hold conversation, you only gotta get liquor involved. They'll tell you some shit, dude. That's why I say I, I listen to everything somebody say. They tell you some shit. I remember I talked to this girl. She was like, yeah, man, this dude, you know, he got my number. And I was dropping my child off at the, me and baby daddy exchanged the child at the car wash. And this dude was looking. And, you know, I gave him my number. And, you know, he was an older dude. And, you know, he kept texting me. I kept pulling him off. And I just said, what do you want? She was, He was like, well, I got 400 to fuck. She was like, well, that 400 would have been real, real nice. But I couldn't do it, man. Come on. She probably fucked for that 400, bro. She ain't gonna get that comfortable. Some women, you know, some of these younger women, she was young, might get that comfortable with you. You know, some of them might still have some moral standards, but shit get bad and motherfuckers get down on their knuckles and shit. These hoes gonna fuck for 100, they gonna fuck for 40, they gonna mess for 50. It, it's just the, it's just the cold hard truth, bruh. You know? And I'm kind of kind of learning the 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 mindset around tricking. And I'm kind of kind of coming to the to the to the to the uh the determination that it may be even easy. It might it may be simple. It might be the easier way. But that's a whole nother conversation. I like I said, I don't condone you and I don't condemn you for what you do. I ain't tricking. I ain't they just use common sense. But it might it might it mean shit. My man said the biggest tricks <laughs> are are men in marriages. I'm like, oh shit. He, he broke it down. I'm like, yeah, you right. So when you get older and you open minded and you just think about things, and I'm open minded, don't mean I'm gonna apply it or don't mean I won't apply it and see if it works or I don't believe it work. I just I'll be looking at certain shit and it is what it is. But I always like to listen to everybody and just see people with different point of views, man. But um but yeah, that is, that's all that is, what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the, I don't know what to call it. I'm going to just call it a boxer rumor. I was boxing, I don't know, man. One of the two. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Bimbo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Link tree, the first link in the description. Find me on Twitter, TikTok, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Bimbo, Apple Podcasts. Support me on the podcast platforms. Give me a rating. Peace.